Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Train Simulator Classic. Today we're going to be having a look at the recently released Just Trains Wessex Mainline Southampton to Salisbury extension. We're going to be driving this class 159 and I'm really, really excited that we're going to get a proper sort of... Uh, I mean, I know that we've got the London line, haven't we? But this is a proper 159 run. It's one of the only ones that I've actually played, to be honest with you. So I'm quite excited about this because, uh, again, I've not really had much time with the 159. Uh, usually I just drive the 158s up north. So yeah, this is this is exciting for me. £24.99 this route's going to set you back. I've had a little drive of it already and I must say, do you know what? I am very impressed so far. Uh, you do require the base, uh, the base game, which runs from Southampton, Southampton Central, uh, down towards Bournemouth. This is the original, uh, there you go, you've got Bournemouth down there. That's the original uh, Dovetail Games route. However, this adds the extension up to Salisbury and uh, up to Eastley round here couple of little branches around there like that it's uh, yeah it's a uh, it's a nice really nice little route so far and I believe that they have upgraded this section of line with some extra bits and pieces so uh, we shall take the DRA off I've not actually put the key in that would uh, that would help wouldn't it there we go there we go right okay so we've got the driver vigilance device active we've got a nice uh, nice interior there that's a standard interior isn't it and of course this is in the uh, in the stagecoach days of southwest trains it's uh, i do miss this i mean the new livery is uh, is all right i suppose but i do miss this bright stagecoach uh, stagecoach color scheme what have we got there we've got a 158 which one is it anyone we know 890 there you go two car 158 there lovely lovely stuff sounds like the zero's off as well where are you going oh he's going before the doors are shutting true uh, train simulator form there 12 car going to london waterloo is it uh there you go yeah london waterloo lovely right we're gonna hop in because it's nearly time for us to go uh, so we're just going to take that out of full service because we're, uh, we're raring to go aren't we and um, uh, do you know what i think we're gonna have the window open for this might get a little bit breezy on route, I don't know. It's 2 Bravo 7 1. There we go, right, so we're going for the usual 357. 2 Bravo 7 1, it's a half hour, uh, 2 Bravo 9 1, sorry. It's a half hour scenario. We're calling at, well, we're starting at Eastley, calling at Southampton Airport Parkway, Swathling. St. Denny's, Southampton Central, Redbridge, Totten, and going into Totten Goods Loop. Oh, hang on, let's just uh, let's have a little bit of braking just so that we don't speed. So, uh, yeah, really, really, really excited. I've not driven this little section yet from Eastley. Uh, I believe that Eastley wasn't included before, was it? I don't think it was, so this should all be new. I'm pretty sure it was just Southampton Central to Bournemouth. Uh, now, Southampton Airport Parkway, just under one and a half miles. It's, uh, it's not really enough excuse me, to get up to speed, I know the, um, right, there we go, into full power, there we go, full steam ahead, there's so much clutter on this, I mean, look at the weeds, the, the housing there, everything just feels so busy, it's very, very similar in terms of uh, in the Hope Valley, another Just Trains route there, um, but, you know, compared to when you think the Just Trains Western Main Lines, which was, you know, it was good for its time. I really wish they'd go back and do like a Western Main Lines 2.0, upgrade it so that it is this level of detail because it really is that the routes that just trains are churning out at the minute are the highest quality routes, in my opinion, uh, that we have seen for a long time. Uh, I mean, this is just gorgeous, isn't it? The amount of foliage at the side, it, there's, you can't really see a lot of repeating assets. It just looks so natural and so untidy so much like our railways. Our railways do look untidy in a lot of instances with all this fauna and uh, foliage. I, I just think it looks so realistic and despite the fact I don't really know that much about this route uh, in real life, I don't know much about it at all to tell you the truth, it, you know I could just sit and drive up and down this all day quite happily and in fact you know what when I finish this scenario I'll probably be going back again you know just just because why not. So, coming into Southampton Airport Parkway now, I imagine everything stops here, because uh, I know that cross-countries do, don't they? They stop at Southampton Airport Parkway on the way to Bournemouth. I've heard that many a times on the announcements. There we go, we're just going to make sure that we... Uh, what time are we into here? In at 52, good lord, we're, uh, I need to actually start driving a bit quicker, don't I? I guess down south they're, uh, they're a little, little bit more enthusiastic with the throttle. And the uh, and the brakes there. 
There we go, right, we'll, uh, we'll just ditch it on notch two. That should hopefully bring it to a nice stop. Oh, there's a two and three car board there, so we'll go for a bit of full service. Stand back from the edge, please, sir. Thank you. Into step two. And into step one there for a nice smooth stop. Look at that. Doors are opening. Let's have a look outside at Southampton Airport Parkway. I mean, this is an absolutely gorgeous station. You've got a, uh, a run-down multi-storey car park over there. In fact, we do need a, uh, a photograph, don't we? We need a photograph for the cover photo. Lovely stuff. We might take more while we're here. What time are we due at? 54. So we've got sounds like, wow, this is actually the airport. There you go. We've got uh, what looks like an old Tupolev <laughs> jet. I mean, it might not be. It probably won't be. I mean, since when did they go to Southampton Airport? But yeah, pretty, pretty nice round here. The, the level of detail is really good. We've got the, uh, what looks like some sort of sports over there. I'm not going to humiliate myself. Tennis courts, you see, I know that one. Uh, that looks like football, but on blue. Yeah, there you go. We've got some Go South Coast livery buses. I know it doesn't have the uh, the actual livery on there, but that's the, that's the standard President Front Gemini side, isn't it? But uh, but yeah, the uh, the livery is very in keeping for the area. And look at that. We've got traffic lights. I wonder if they work. I wonder if they. We've got the green on there. I don't know if they do. All right. This is uh, this is. If you're just joining us, this is Joe. Sat watching some traffic lights. Yeah, tell you what we're going to do. We're just going to nip across here uh, to Southampton Airport Parkway. Back to our class 159. And uh, and we're going to continue on. Now, if you're not sure where to get the 159 from, it is the Armstrong Powerhouse Enhanced Class 158. Into forward. Oh, notch four. Wow. There we go, notch five. Where are we going next? Swathling, just under a mile. This really is a proper stopping service, isn't it, this one? There's so many little aspects of this route which we can explore, so many little, uh, little lines as well. Uh, obviously this bit being new. This is where you tell me this line was always here and I've just never driven on it before. Swathling, what time are we doing at 56 and out at 56? Well, we're going to have to get a wriggle on, aren't we? God, the timings are tight down here for these runs. I've never heard of this station before in my life. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we'll go for that. And then I think at the 75 we're going to have a bit of step one. Yeah, there we go. That can be the uh, the breaking point for that. And hopefully, you know, you know what, I'm going to go for a bit of step two as well, just to bring the speed down. Maybe knock it back to step one. I forget the brakes on the 158 aren't the best compared to some of the other traction we've driven. Obviously the zero stuff, you could probably fly into this platform at a steady 30 mile an hour and, uh, and stop. Oh, there's a there's a woman in the track. Excuse me, madam. Yeah, you just get back on your side. How does that sound? Four to twelve cars. Hell, I mean we've gone past the uh, the three car board easily there, haven't we? There we go. We did uh, got in at fifty six. Pretty all right. The platforms are of decent. You know they're not too far. Okay, that that one's quite far away, isn't it? But. It's not the worst we've ever seen. Yeah, that, that could do with being just a smidge closer. But I guess 158s are quite narrow, aren't they? These will be uh, for the Zero fleets as well. So maybe that's not too bad. Maybe. I'm not sure. Any local Swedling residents wish to uh, wish to weigh in there? I'm pretty sure you're going to tell me it's not called Swedling either, aren't you? You're going to be, yeah, yeah, Joe, your pronunciation's not on the money at all again. Off we go. It's a dry day, so we can uh, we can afford to be quite generous with the throttle. No wheel slip on our part. These are the NRM zones, the uh, the 75 there. I'm not sure. 
Is the radio zones? Anyone? Anybody? Again, clueless around here. Absolutely clueless. See, I was just thinking, when on earth did HSTs used to run down here? But of course, let's not forget, uh, Virgin Cross Country used to run HSTs down here, didn't they? Many, many moons ago, I'm sure that the, uh, the Bournemouth to Manchester services were probably HSTs back in the day. Right, so we've got a single yellow next, but the red isn't until St Denny's. So we'll, uh, we'll carry on just as normal. time we went to St Denny's 59 Ooh, what's coming the other way I can see uh, I can see two trains actually oh wow there's actually something in front of us right okay well we'll take a bit of a uh, we'll slow down looks like a uh, 377 of some sort maybe looks like an electro star this coming the other way obviously a 444 I'm intrigued is there some sort of junction at St Denny's maybe I reckon there probably is if we... Uh, ah, right, okay, so St. Denny's here, of course. So that Electrostar, yeah, it will be an Electrostar, and it'll just come from Brighton way. Portsmouth and Brighton. Change here for trains towards Portsmouth. Another full service braking there. I uh, I don't don't particularly aim for full service braking, but it, the timings, like I say, are quite tight. We don't want to uh, we don't want to be running late, do we? There we go. Put that in a bit of step one. Nice smooth stop. Out of gear, and there we go. Right, so we're going to be continuing on down. So there is obviously a line that goes down here to the docks, Southampton Eastern docks. There we go. However, we're going to come across here, and uh, I think Totten's about there. I keep wanting to say Toton, because of obviously the uh, the freight yard up north. This is of course not that freight yard. It's a very different yard. Well, just a siding. Off we go. Full steam ahead. We've got a green, people. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to uh, I'm going to pop us out here, and then hopefully, you see, that's going to be a better photo, isn't it? Because of the light. Look at that. Doesn't train simulator looks so good. I'm using the Railworks Enhancer as well. Just coupled with the Armstrong Powerhouse, the Railworks Enhancer, the new route with everything in it, it just, Train Simulator just looks amazing. This Electrostar is going to leave us for dead, isn't it? Well, hopefully we're going to pull alongside it at Southampton. But I mean, compared to how fast an Electrostar can, uh, can accelerate in comparison to a Sprinter, uh, yeah, well, I can't imagine that we're going to get stuck behind it again. Look, the depot on the left here, that's a zero depot, I do believe. Oh, yeah, 444 parked up there. Quick as anything with that AWS, I tell you. Yeah, let's uh, let's just oh look at that straight into the 25 lovely of course you've got the line down to the docks on the left hand side there I imagine with it being near the depot as well that quite a few zeros will shunt out of there just strikes me as the uh, as the sort can't actually see if there's anything around the corner that's like coming past us here got a green 
Oh, there is something coming past us. It's a 444. Oh, that's disappointing we didn't see that. Into Southampton at 17.04. Must be a summer service, because uh, obviously no wheel slip, but uh, it's, it's very sun, uh, sunny, isn't it? It looks like a middle of the afternoon service, really. I'm going to go up to 40. I know that uh, we will probably, in real life, the drivers probably won't be quite so keen to get up to speed, but, uh, but hey, it doesn't matter, does it? We want to get there on time. Bang on the money. I imagine that this southern service will terminate here, so yeah, we, uh, we hopefully will see it. I didn't realise quite how many trains there were up here. There's a hell of a lot of trains, isn't there? There's something else coming the other way there, what looks like a 158 or a 159. In fact, it looks like a Great Western one. So we've seen Southwest Trains, First Great Western, Southern. There's so much colour around here, isn't there? There was a scenario as well which I saw on... Uh, yeah, it's definitely a Great Western one. Look at that! Oh, this is amazing! I mean, perhaps I'm just easily impressed, but this route is gorgeous. I, I really like it. I mean, we won't get quite so much colour now, I mean... I just just make sure we stop there. There we go. That's a shame. I quite wanted a, uh, a photo there with the 377 in the background. If only I'd have been a bit quicker. I'm going to have another photo. Like, oh, you, you, it's just pretty, isn't it? That livery's gorgeous. I'm... Real, uh, I, I really have been flying through a building there. Southern 377, look at that. We've got the 158 coach. See, I love how they used to do that at Great Western. Oh, no, it's one of these. Blech. Not keen. Are the buttons always so far away on the 158s. I can never remember. I, I thought they were sort of there. Or there. Hmm, I'm not sure. Yeah, like not both times are the other side of the windows. I don't remember them ever being there. Maybe it's just me. Right, let's uh, let's nip back over to our train. We've uh, we've done enough wandering. How about our buttons? Uh, oh yeah, our buttons are are over there as well. Who knew? Do you know what? While this is doing that, I'm gonna have to go on Flickr, which is obviously uh, that's on my other monitor. I'm gonna have to look for class one five eights and see where those flipping buttons are. I just cannot imagine them ever being. And uh, naturally, everything everything of flicker is of the front of trains. Of course it is. Oh, that 158's going. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea. Can anyone shine a light on that? Anybody at all? Are those buttons in the right place? Ah, right, yeah, I've just picked up a northern one, and uh, yeah, northern one online. They are, in fact, wrong on train sim. If we, uh, if we just nip outside, yeah, the uh, the northern ones are here. And uh, yeah, they're, they're very much here on the, uh, on the pictures, here and here. Oh, that one's right. Oh, so it's right in the middle carriage, just not at the end. How bizarre. Right, full steam ahead. Now that we've established that everything we know in Trensum is wrong. I forgot to also mention, if you uh, if you like the Class 166, I mean, nobody can like the Class 166 in Trensum. It's garbage. Uh, however, fear not, my friends, because uh, if you buy this, I forgot to mention, it does actually include improvements to the 166s. So it's got improvements to the liveries. 
where are we? Realistic and accelerate realistic acceleration and braking physics, correctly simulated emergency brakes, automatic unit numbering, user controllable destination panel, which is exciting, uh, and various other improvements to cab functionality, train exterior, and sound. So, ooh, 66. Uh, so yeah, if you are a bit of a 166 lover or 165 lover and feel that it's been underrepresented in train simulator, uh, then fear not because it is now better. Ah, there you go. Who knew? I should probably have led with uh, with us driving the 166, but to be honest with you, I just wanted a line where we could uh, have a good drive of the 158. I know this is a 159, but you know what I mean. I guess this line as well, you could drive a Perkins 158 down it. There's so much, you know, electric, cross-country voyagers, you've got stuff like that. Because they'll go belting through Eastleigh, won't they? Oh, we're not stopping here by the looks of things. So you've got express passenger, slow passenger, freight. There, there really is a lot you can do on this line. Alright, perhaps it's not the longest freight line in the world. If, you're, uh, if you are a freight lover. But you can certainly do some shunts and, uh, you know... Eastley as well, there's a lot of freight that goes to Eastley. We might be near some sort of docks looking at the cranes there. And up to Redbridge now. Oh, and Totten not far after. So is this just a... Oh, it's Winchester to Totten. Right, okay, so this service will drive in the back end of the Winchester to Totten. We were just starting at Eastleigh. I see, I thought that we'd started there. I thought this is a short little uh, Southampton local shuttle, isn't it? But uh, right, Winchester, which is of course a lot further away. time we journey to here at Redbridge. Ten past. Lovely. Well, we're on track for a ten past arrival, so that's good. Got some freight wagons on the left there. Oh, there's a cross-country coming the other way, a Voyager. Redbridge must be quite a, uh, a slow corner for them. He's not going fast, is he, by any stretch? So we've got the signal here. Obviously, we're not getting a feather because we're going uh, we're going straight on. But obviously you can go around to the right-hand side because that's the line to Salisbury. There we go. We uh, any time now. There we go. Right, and bob that in forwards. There we go, we'll reply with two on the buzzer. I know you can't hear that, but... Oh, doesn't it sound good? Powering away in 159, 009. Ah, right, so yeah, it's only 50 round here. Seems a bit of an odd one, to be honest with you. That, like, we go up to Totten and sort of terminate there. Why won't we terminate in Southampton? Bit of a weird one. 
like this this tiny little run or why wouldn't we continue through to Bournemouth you know it just it just seems odd does anyone know why these services do that in real life if you do I'd be uh, I'd be intrigued to hear from you maybe it's like some sort of you know like the metro zone where early morning services terminate at Marsden and go back to Huddersfield or you know like Skipton instead of carrying on to Carlisle it, maybe that's sort of why no oh, we're going way too fast for this red good lord bit of full service for the two to three car board there right be right right let's get that DRA on so we don't uh, don't forget there we go oh hang on what am I doing Totem where this service terminates right so yeah we've got a couple of minutes there to uh, to offload our passengers and then we're going down to the goods loop where I'm assuming this service will turn around and, uh, and continue back towards uh, well back towards Winchester I'd imagine if I go on this destination I realize I haven't shared uh, I haven't got a destination on is that because it doesn't in fact have Totten uh, Salisbury Southampton Weymouth yeah there we go uh, so yeah going back towards Winchester we don't have Winchester what how can it not have Winchester in here well I tell you what we'll go uh, the next best place this will be going to Salisbury after this it's a, uh, yeah, there you go, it's that new service, Totten to Salisbury. Which changes ends at Southampton. Yep, that's, yeah, we'll, we'll just invent a service if, uh, if it won't give us one. Quite excited as well to use the, uh, I want to use the 170 in Southwest Trains livery. I'd seen on On Track Simulations there was a, uh, there was a scenario for that. Really, really intrigued because uh, you know it's it's not a, another unit. Well, it's another unit that we've not been able to use because, as far as I'm aware, the 170s never went into London. The little two-car 170s that, of course, ended up at first Trans Pennine Express and are now down with Chilton Railways. It's uh, it's funny how they get about, isn't it? These uh, these units. But yeah, the, uh, as far as I'm aware, now I might be wrong, they might have gone into London, but, uh, well, they certainly do now with Chilton, but uh, but yeah, I didn't realise that they ever went to London with South West. I don't think they did. Uh, please do correct me if I'm wrong in the comments there. But uh, yeah, so we've never really had a route that you can drive them on, whereas now I'm like, oh, Salisbury to uh, Southampton. I'm sure they'll have run on there at some point. I like the 171s, they seem to stay down south, don't they? You don't see, I mean, I know you see some of them at Victoria, but you don't seem to see an awful lot, a lot of them stay out of the capital. God, this is, uh, it's taking the guard a while to dispose of the unit. Maybe there's somebody not getting off. Maybe they, uh, maybe they think they're on the Bournemouth train. Oh no, sorry madam, you wanted the one behind. Yeah, you'll, you'll have to cross over, get one back to Southampton and then change again to go down to Bournemouth take the train into the yard to finish the scenario right okay off we go so we've tabbed the signal so we've got the position light and the feather so we're off to the left We'll go full steam ahead, why not? Righty oh into the sidings here. Nice and steady. We've got the position light, you can just see that on the left hand side. Oh there we go.
Well, there we go. Arriving into Totten Goods, uh, Totten Down Goods Loop. Sorry, not just the Goods Loop, the Down Goods Loop, uh, where we will be ending our scenario today. Thank you so so much for joining us. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, click that like button. Do me a favour and uh, do make sure you subscribe. If you're enjoying the trains and content, I'd hate for you to miss out. So make sure that you subscribe so you never miss out on any future episodes. Let me know what you think of this new Just Trains line. I personally think it's absolutely brilliant, uh, but I would love to hear your opinion. And other than that, thank you so, so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.